Hi, this is Dave Matthew with an audio precision quick tip. In this quick tip, we're going to take a brief look at the CMRR measurement in sequence mode. Let's first take a moment to consider differential inputs and why they are used. In balanced audio circuitry and interconnection, the audio signal is applied differentially to two audio conductors, which are either unreferenced to ground or are balanced in their reference to ground. Most unwanted noise or spurious signals, such as hum or RF pickup, are imposed upon both the plus and minus audio conductors equally and are called common mode signals. When these signals are presented to the plus and minus inputs of a differential or transformer balanced amplifier, the audio signal is amplified and the common mode signal is largely suppressed. The ratio of the amplifier's gain for a differential mode signal to the common mode signal is called the common mode rejection ratio, or CMRR. In APX, the CMRR measurement is only available when using analog balanced outputs, and it uses relay switching that's not available in the 8-channel output modules of the APX 585 or 586. Connect an analog balanced output to a device under test DUT differential or balanced input. When you click start, an ordinary, that is, differential mode, level measurement is made. Then, the APX output is switched to common mode, and a second measurement is made. The ratio of the two measurements is displayed as a decibel or an XY result. To understand more about your DUT's performance, you may want to make several CMRR measurements at different frequencies. That's all for now. You'll find more information in the documentation provided with APX 500. Look for additional quick tips at ap.com. And thanks for watching.